And welcome back to my YouTube channel, Merry Vlogmas. This is Vlogmas Day 11. Yeah, 11. This video is going to be my ultimate Christmas gift guide. In particular for the gym girlies, but there is some other bits in there. And also I'm going to be running through the entire Honor Advent Calendar, which launches tonight at 5pm. So I wanted to kind of give you a full rundown, a recap of all of the colours that have been re released, all of the information that you need to know, um, and also my top picks. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so top of the list on this gift guide is obviously going to be gym wear, in particular Honor Active. So if you didn't know, Honor Active this year have done a Christmas life-size advent calendar whereby each and every single day for 12 days of Christmas, they are launching a brand new Christmas colour uh, which you can then shop on the 12th today. Let me grab it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know whether I'm gonna fit me and the box in the shop very well. Here we go. So here we have the life-size advent calendar. When you open the box up, you have 12 boxes and essentially I just wanted to give you a full recap of all the colours that have launched bar number 12 because that has not been announced yet or maybe it has if it has it has <laughs> but otherwise it hasn't but I wanted to give you a full run rundown of every single colour that has launched and been revealed so far so you know exactly what to pick up and then I'm going to run through my top picks i.e my favourite colours from this you know capsule collection so in number one we have the colour Berry. I would say this is like a washed red colour. In this um, little box here, we got the Effortless Shorts with the scrunch bum. An oversized classic on a t-shirt. You can see there we have the logo embroidered. I love these t-shirts. They're so, so nice quality. And then the Effortless strappy bra so that was box number one i'm going to leave an image on the screen right now over here of all of the other pieces within this capsule that the color this color berry is launching in and um, there's other things on there such as like the half sip sweatshirt all sorts so i'll leave that image on the left now number two we have burnt cherry this is like the most beautiful rich red color Every, all of these are just like thrown in because I've done so many try and hauls content. So in this box, we have the Everyday Burnt Cherry Bra, the Timeless Burnt Cherry Leggings. There's the logo on the back. And then a Mellow Soft Cropped Tea in again, Burnt Cherry. Oh, I just love this color so much. So, so much. Pop that back in there. Okay, we're on to number three, mulled wine. So as you can see, we've had one, two, three reds. So in this, we have a brand new piece and item to Honor Active, and that is the Halter Neck Timeless Vest. As you can see, it's quite similar to the Square Neck Vest that they brought out um, a while ago, but this doesn't have any type of straps on the back, so it's completely backless. It is stunning stunning for you know your upper body days and it's so so nice here we have it this is in the colour mulled wine and then to go with this you have mellow soft long sleeve long length tee and also timeless shorts with the logo on the back just there and that is day number three and that is reds done so we've had three reds now we're on to who knows? <laughs> Number four, icy blue. So in here we have everyday bra, effortless shorts. I'll also leave other bits that are included in this box that aren't in there for some reason. <laughs> um, and I'm also gonna leave images of me in all of these pieces. Number five, again, love this color. We have steel blue. So here we have the mellow soft cropped short sleeve. A beanie, are you joking? 
look at that and when I say these are such nice quality if you turn this inside out you know when you wear a beanie or a hat and you're that hot in your forehead where it's sat it's itchy AF and more so because the material of the wool is just irritating on your forehead look at what on I've done they've put us a, a piece of soft material on the inside of the beanie I'm sorry they're just geniuses. Um, then we have Effortless Steel Blue Leggings and one of my favourite bras, the Everyday Crossover Bra as well. That was box number five. Number six now, I'm getting, I'm getting butt ache. This is going to have to move back. There we go. Okay, that's a bit better. You're just going to have to cope with not seen as much as the, of the box. Box number six, we have the color Lake Blue. So a lot of people were asking the difference between Lake Blue and Marine Teal. I personally think that Marine Teal is more of a turquoise and this is more of like a blue, if that makes sense. So Marine Teal's like got more of a greeny, turquoisey tinge. This is more of a blue. In here, I got the Timeless Lake Blue jacket. You all know I love a Timeless jacket. It's my favorite thing on the entire planet then we have the timeless leggings and then also in this box was another one of them halter neck vests but i've left it in the car because when i filmed in this i did the 10k calorie challenge and i stripped in the car do you remember it was cutting off my circulation needed to go so it's in the car i'm not taking it back out yet but also in that box was that box number seven so that was three reds, three blues, now we're on to a different colour, the browns. So this is walnut brown, and here we have, again, the brand new, sorry, so sorry, this is inside out, but the brand new effortless long sleeve with the square neckline, so, so nice, I'm in love with it. And then, again, effortless shorts in walnut. This is such a flattering colour, gorgeous. Oh, I'm just obsessed with everything. Okay, now box number eight was chestnut. Again, I'll leave. You'll be able to see it, a video on the screen. I have worn this that much, it's in the wash. And it's currently drying on the maiden, so you wouldn't get a, like a full image of the colour because it's darker because it's wet. Um, but yeah, I'll leave an image on the screen. I love chestnut. Number nine, we have the final brown espresso. Who knew, by the way? Who knew? Mia messaged me after I put this on. So I put a video of me on, on my story in this colour. And I was like, I absolutely love this colour. The new, brand new colour, Expresso. I thought you said it and spelt it Expresso, like exercise, Expresso. I've always said it like that. Who knew it was Espresso? No X, double S, I think. Maybe not double S actually, double S later on. No X, just espresso. Who knew? You learn something new every day. And a lot of people agreed with me because I put it on my story, who knew that? A lot of people said, oh my gosh, I call it that too. See Mia? See? I was like, lol. I'm always misspelling things. Espresso. Sorry. A timeless chocolate jacket with chocolate leggings and a chocolate everyday bra. <laughs> Gosh, they really have treated us guys, they really have. Last three, 10, 11, 12. So I'm not going to show you number 12 because I don't think they're going to announce it until 5pm and that's when everything goes live. So I want to keep it as, you know, an element, element of surprise. Just know, I love number 12. I love it, just know that. Number 10. We have tea green. So this is like a really, really pretty mint green. I wore this yesterday. Yesterday. Look at that. Look at that with my tan. So nice. Again, we have a lovely, pretty beanie in that tea green colour. I'm honestly obsessed with the beanies. I hope they bring them out in so many more colours. And then another classic oversized tea in that tea green as well. So that was box number 10. This is yesterday's colour. We have, I say yesterday because I'm filming this in advance. So this is obviously going to go live on the day that 
all of this launch is but it's actually today the 11th not the 12th i'm on set with honor on the 12th so today i'm on set so i'm filming all of this can you actually be so proud of me because i've been so organized this year <laughs> okay so we have the color forest green I've not worn this yet to the gym and I don't think I can fit a session in today but I'm gonna have to because I'm sorry it's just beautiful it's beautiful this we have the strappy strop effortless strappy bralette it's in my wardrobe sorry I'll grab it in a sec with this mellow soft crop tee it's just honestly beautiful and then we have Matching on her socks with the green, with the green, the forest green on. <sighs> they really know how to do it. And they really know how to do it. And then, I'm not going to show you number 12, but just know number 12 is my favourite. I'm actually going to pop this down because my back's hurting <laughs> from sitting on the edge of the bed. So yeah, that is everything included in the Honor Active Advent Calendar. Um, obviously bar number 12 that I can't yet speak about because I think they're going to wait until 5 to announce it but just know it's very 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 nice and you're going to want to buy it I wanted to run through my top picks from the advent calendar just so you have a bit of an insight into that so from the reds my favourite colour is burnt cherry. I absolutely love it. I don't know whether it's the dark hair, if the dark hair is just given with this deep red, but honestly, it's so, so nice. If I had to pick from the reds, it would be burnt cherry. Then from the blues, I feel like this is a a lot of people's favourites. We have steel blue with the matching beanie. Are you joking? I am in love with this colour. This is also Jacob's favourite colour, if you're wondering, from the advent calendar. Um, I just think it's so, so nice. So that is my favourite blue. Then from the browns, I am a neutrals girly. You know it. So I would personally love all three of those. If I hadn't been sent this, I would have probably purchased all of the browns. But if I had to pick, I could only whittle it down to two, I'm not going to lie. I would go for espresso, for sure. I just think a full brown fit with a timeless jacket, <laughs> obviously. And then chestnut, which is in the wash. So I'll leave a video of me in chestnut on the screen. Chestnut, I absolutely adore. I think out of the two, I actually prefer chestnut, um, but I just love the timeless jacket, so that's why I would go for espresso. And then finally, from the greens, I love forest green, which I haven't yet worn, but can you just see how this is going really nice with the tan, with the hair, with, the, with everything? This is just a nice colour, very Christmassy. So yeah, they are my top picks, which you can shop this evening. I just want to thank everyone for your engagement on all of my posts. I know I've been sharing all of the colours on here as well as on my socials. So if you follow me on Instagram, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for, you know, engaging with all of my content. I hope you all liked it. I hope you, hope you found it helpful. I will say that I wear basically a small in everything within the advent calendar, calendar other than the timeless jacket. So in the timeless jackets, I wear an extra small, but everything else I wear a small. If you do want to shop this evening at five please 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 if you could shop through my support link i spoke about it a little on yesterday's video but it really really helps with my relationship with the brand as you all know one of my main goals is to become an active athlete and um, it's also about me and just you know giving off that athlete vibe but you shopping through my link especially helps with my relationship with the brand like i said and will help me to get there so yeah Thank you so much. If you do shop through my link this evening, please comment down below so I can thank you personally or DM me. So yeah, that is the active wear part of this gift guide. Obviously, we have the advent calendar stuff, but not even just the advent calendar stuff. Also, if all of the other interactive pieces, you know I love everything else. Just scroll down my Instagram if you need some inspo, but there are so many other colours that are within the interactive, you know, collections, effortless, timeless, um, classic that I absolutely love and adore and go to 24-7 and will just always be on our active staples. If you didn't know, the advent calendar colours are limited edition. So this is your only time to shop this evening. That's why I've been, you know, make sure you're ready at five because once they're gone, they're gone. Okay, so next thing within my gifting guide is supplements. So if you didn't know, I work with the brand ESN <laughs> and I absolutely love and adore their products. 
Um, something I will disclaim before getting into anything is you definitely do not need supplements within your fitness journey to achieve the results you're after. You can get that from food and from training. However, things like supplements just make it a little bit easier to one, hit targets and two, just to aid and, you know, push you along <laughs> to get to your end goal and the ones I use to get there and also I recommend my clients to use are ESN. I can hand on heart say, you heard me say it before, but I can hand on heart say that these are the best products that I have ever used on the UK market because obviously I'm over here in the UK. You can unfortunately purchase these if you're in the US or some other places currently, um, but if you are in the UK you can purchase these through the link down below. I'm going to run through my favourite products. But first things first, I'm going to run through the design away. This is the flavour banana split. I love this. I have run out of my cinnamon cereal, that is my favourite flavour, but this is up there as well. It tastes like a McDonald's banana milkshake, if you know what that tastes like. Honestly, so, so nice. These have 22 grams of protein per scoop, so even if you wanted to do a double scoop, then you could do, and you're getting like 40 plus grams of protein in, which is honestly insane from a protein shake and not only that whether you mix this with milk or water or any of your alternative milks it tastes so so nice there's so many proteins that you buy and you mix them with water and it tastes like dishwater you know the ones the absolutely vile ones this does not i actually prefer this with water it still tastes so so nice i just could not recommend it enough everyone who have said to try this and has tried it has then gone yeah connie you were right i know why you were raving about it because it's so nice so if you are going to pick up anything definitely grab yourself a protein powder next we have probably my most used product again I spoke about it yesterday but the esn daily this has collagen peptides l-leucine l-glutamine and creatine l-leucine l-glutamine and creatine are things that i took all separately in all separate powders in unflavored powders which i would have to mix with a cardio this you mix two scoops with water and it is just a juice so i take this every single day without fail one because it tastes good but two out of ease it's so so easy to be getting my daily creatine and all the other supplements that are in here in in just basically a cordial like i've just made myself an orange juice and um, my favorite flavor this is in the sour power flavor like basically just tastes like sweets but my favorite flavor is probably raspberry iced tea or the pina colada flavor um no it's not pina colada it's pineapple and coconut which tastes like a pina colada um so yeah they're my top two i can't rave about this enough i speak about it all the time I absolutely love. I'm just gonna run through two more products. One that I don't have because I've run out. <laughs> That's how much I use it. Um, this is the Crank pre-workout. I don't usually go for pre-workout only because I'm not a caffeine girl, you know this. But if I was to use a pre-workout, I would go for this one. So this has 200 milligrams of caffeine per scoop, which is quite a lot. You definitely do not need um, any more than that. But sometimes I'll go for half a scoop. So I'm having 100 milligrams of caffeine instead of 200 milligrams. And that just gives me like the perfect amount of caffeine to have an amazing workout if I'm tired or I'm training in the evening. Alternatively, I don't have it to hand, but I'll go for the Crank Pump Pro, as you know. It is just a pump product. It's non-stim, so it doesn't have caffeine in. I love that product like so 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 good i train with it every single day um and my favorite flavor in that is the cherry flavor and that is basically everything i'm going to run through other things that i take from esn are their vitamins so i take a magnesium and ashwagandha i think it's called ashwa pro um my omega-3s and the athlete stack for females which basically has everything that you need in one supplement which is really really good so maybe just go for that one if you're uh, wanting to go for anything like i said there is a link down below which gets you 10 percent off or you could just use the code courtney which will get you additional money it's just the perfect gift i think if you're somebody getting into the gym and you want to ask something from your boyfriend or your parents it's a great gift to ask from them because you know supplements are an annoying expense that you don't really want to spend on plus your my code will get you 10% off ESN also run promotions every single Wednesday so keep an eye out for those this last week it was 20% off protein powders so then would have been a perfect time to get your hands on some protein just keep an eye out on my Instagram stories if you want to you know 
find out about what promotion they have on each week because I do um, speak about them on there. But that is supplements. Okay, so next thing I'm going to run through is gym equipment and just gym accessories in general. So, here we have a absolutely huge gym bag. I got this from Built for Athletes. Um, a lot of gym girlies have the same one. I watched Mia's gift guide um, earlier today and she also has it. Meg has one. We all have one. It is the ultimate gym bag. I'm not joking, like you can fit everything in here. Especially for us girls who um, get content at the gym when you need to take two tripods, your camera, a different lens, then your gym equipment, a barbell pad, a lifting belt, <laughs> your straps. Everything needs to fit in here and this is why this gym bag is a perfect gym bag. It is on the pricier side, it's expensive. I went for the large one. Um, but I've never ever looked back. This was the perfect purchase. I have this one and then one that was gifted to me by Built for Athletes, which I'm very, very grateful for. But yeah, I couldn't rave on about it enough. It is such a good gym bag. So if you are wanting to pick up a brand new gym bag this year for Christmas, then probably that one. They also do have dupes of that gym bag, which are just as good quality because my mum got my brother one last year um, on Amazon. So I'll also link an Amazon one down below if you wanted to go for a more budget option. On to gym equipment. So things like, can you see that? Um, a barbell hip thrust pad. Are you, are you joking? Look at this. It's bright pink. It's so me. This is from Upper Gear. They do such amazing, nice quality gym um, equipment wise. Um, so I have this from them. I have two separate lifting belts. You've always asked me about them on Instagram. Um, and they're just the best, best quality. And I'm not for being funny, but they look really, really cute. So yeah, if you're wanting to pick up any gym equipment, they have everything on there from straps to cuffs to literally everything. I was so upset I actually left my cuffs in Dubai when me and Meg trained there and um, I was so upset but yeah I don't actually have those but yeah your cuffs as well you can get um on the uh, on that website again if you wanted to go for more budget options or things that are going to come quicker because they are coming from America then you can just get these things from Amazon and I'll link them down below as well. I have some lifting wraps I have two separate pairs mostly because I always lose them and buy new pairs <laughs> but they're both from the brand RDX. I think I got these from Amazon one time when I'd I'd lost them and I needed a pair for the gym so I just went next door to Argos because my gym was next to an Argos and then these I got from Amazon as you can tell I love having pink gym equipment I want to be that cute you know girly gym girl okay so this was within the advent calendar I'm going to put it underneath this section gym bags gym equipment because this little guy is going in my gym bag and you know what I'm going to put in there I'm going to put bobbles scrunchies tampons sanitary towels everything that i always don't have at the gym but need is going in this bag i think it's the perfect size to fit everything in look at it look at that she's beautiful and again you can shop that tonight within the advent calendar but i just love her absolutely love her okay moving on now we're gonna run through makeup and skincare you know i love my skincare at the minute so i'm gonna put you on to some bits that you can add on to your christmas list this year i absolutely love korean skincare i think it is genuinely the best stuff i've ever used um main products that i really really like and have tried and would definitely recommend is this anua um 77 percent heart leaf soothing toner i think this is so so nice on the skin it really takes down my redness i get like quite pigmented cheeks i used to think i had rosacea potentially i don't have rosacea maybe it was just really dry and i damaged my skin barrier um but yeah this i couldn't recommend enough i absolutely love it then the rice and shine hyaluronic acid essence toner again a korean um brand absolutely love it it's called miss Masani, 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 I think it's called. Love that one. And then finally, the one you've probably all seen, it's the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. It's basically snail slime. But I will put it on my face if it makes it look less. Let me tell you. Love it. Absolutely love it. And then the next thing I'm going to go through is Skin and Make. 
skin and me you know i've been wanting to try this so when i was going through my really bad hormonal acne phase um everyone in my dms i swear to gosh was either recommending this or dermatica if you don't know what skin and me is it's essentially a online kind of prescription skincare dermatology service I, that was a lot of words but essentially you send off pictures to the team you answer a bunch of questions just letting them know what your concerns are and essentially they then give you this this is their daily doser as you can see it is personalized it says skin and me for courtney and it's a daily doser it comes like this as you can see here you have a 30 day supply every day you twist this the cream moisturizer whatever the treatment will come out of the top the perfect amount and it has exactly what you need in there so for example for my skin because i've been struggling with um acne for the previous few months it has tretinoin in which is known to help with acne and also scarring and then an antibiotic called clindamycin I, you can't purchase that over the counter. You have to get that prescribed. So instead of going to the doctors and them palming you off on some random cream or putting you on a wait list to go to a dermatologist, you can just get it from here. It's a doctor or nurse or pharmacist as a de or, or dermatologist on the other end, which will say, right, okay, Courtney, you need this, this, and this. And then next month, my next month subscription will be a higher dosage or a changed, um, you know, treatment dependent on how my skin is. So if my skin has improved, potentially they might take the antibiotic out or they might increase the strength of the tretinoin that's in here because you can get different strengths. So this, is my new best friend and you can get this down below through my link um, and it'll give you your first month for five pounds something like that it'll give you a huge discount anyway so if you are interested go and purchase this right now because it's so cheap and you can get you know huge amount of money off and i think it's just such an amazing service now moving on to makeup bits of makeup that i absolutely love and have loved for years fluff up your brow brow wax or the 24 hour brow setter from benefit i think that benefit has the best brow products i uh, loads of people always ask if i've had my eyebrows laminated no i've only ever got this stuff in my brows or the brow setter i think it's just amazing and um, so definitely Go for that moving on to charlotte tilbury bits because i absolutely love and adore all charlotte tilbury products so flawless filter as you can see this is very 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 well loved i've had this for so long Mo mainly because i got this too dark so i use this in my contour areas if you watch yesterday's get ready with me you'll see that but this has lasted me i think i've had it over a year and it's still got so much product in there because I only use it in my contour areas. Super lightweight and it just makes you really glowy. So I love that. And then I also love the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I use this to set where I put my concealer. So I also love that. And last things that I'm going to run through is Beauty Crop pieces. So I love the setting powders from Beauty Crop. The Wee Cherie one and also the Glow Milk Mist. This is the Amelia Olivia one. You'll have all seen her on TikTok. She's the makeup queen on TikTok. Love that. I just think the Wee Cherie one is a bit too... I don't want to explain it as oily, but like I have to re-powder after I've used it, whereas I don't with this one. And then the avo cuddle mascara is the only mascara that doesn't like transfer down onto my under eyes so i also love that and that is the skincare and makeup section of this gifting guide next up we have perfume so i know people are so funny about giving away their perfumes um and i don't currently really use a go-to perfume but i have two on my christmas list clish, <laughs> christmas list this year that i'm going to share with you all i don't care if you get them because they're all going to be sm smelling good but i've smelled these so many times and i just think perfume is so expensive and i can never ever bring myself to spend on it so the first first one's a tiny bit more affordable it is the the new gucci flora i think it's called i'm gonna put an image on the screen let me actually find out what it's called okay so it's the gucci flora gorgeous magnolia 
flavor <laughs> i was about to say flavor scent um it's in the purple bottle again i'll leave an image on the screen um i love the smell of this and it is a tad more affordable than the second one i'm going to go for in a second i think it's 88 mil 88 pounds for 50 mil but it smells divine and i'm definitely going to purchase myself or maybe i'll get it gifted to me this year but i honestly love that perfume and secondly i've smelt this so times in Selfridges and I really want it I really want it but it's just so expensive it's 205 pounds for 100 mil I suppose if you get 100 mil that's not that bad I think the 50 mil is 140 pounds but still it's so expensive um it is Zhezhov Herba Pura and it's in a blue bottle I'll leave an image on the screen it smells unbelievable I need this in my life this is going to be my go-to scent if you're wondering this is going to be my new scent but yeah, I've wanted this for the longest time, so this is also on my um, wish list this year, and that is perfume. Okay, now moving on to tech. Again, a very frequently asked question, my camera setup, tripods, etc. So I'm going to run through the things that I love and use 24-7, and that I just know are great. So first of all, we have this a bit kinky looking tripod, to be honest. It is the Amutech um, tripod. As you can see, look at that. It's a foam tripod. So you can have it at any height. It's very, very sturdy. I've had three of these now. And the only reason I have three of these is because I left one in um, Spain and then I got one for Jacob and now we have this one as well. So we have three. Um, and it's great. You can actually somehow Bluetooth connect your phone to this and this basically comes out as you can see and it has a little button on there and you can press it and take pictures so if you're a person who did like likes to get content alone maybe that'll make your life a little bit easier and um, i think it's just a really really good reliable tripod like i said i've had three of these now so i know they're great and this is what i use to film with in the gym or on my phone anywhere essentially Next we're on to my camera tripod. I can't show it you because you're on there, <laughs> but I'll leave an image on the screen and leave the link to it down below. It's just a really good sturdy tripod. I got this from Argos, I think. It's just a really good tripod. Um, again, I've had no issues with it. I've had it for months now. And of the tripods, you can get some on Amazon and pay 20 plus pounds and they come in there super flimsy like I have one like that and it's just not that reliable so I would definitely pay the extra money and just get one that's going to last you a long period of time and that is this one that I'm going to put on the screen I think it's the National Geographic tripod um and like I said you can get it from Argos now moving on to cameras so I spoke about this a little bit yet on yesterday's video. I used to have the Canon M50 Mark II. I think that is a brilliant go-to camera um, for vlogging, for content in the gym. It's a little bit more affordable than my current camera and you can get interchangeable lenses to make it look a bit more cinematic or a bit more higher quality if you wanted to do so. Everything is in your lens, not the camera, the lens. So if you can get like a camera such as the Canon Mark II and just play around with different lenses, then you win in. So I think that is a good, a really good camera to kind of begin with. And currently I have the Sony um, A7C. I absolutely love this camera. I think the quality is amazing. Um, and again, it's, it's, I think it's a good purchase. Is it worth the money? It was a pretty penny. I think the Canon Mark II was like £600, this one was £1,500, so expensive, but only the best for you guys <laughs> and I just wanted to, I had that, I, I did have that Canon Mark II for years, now Jacob has that camera and I have this camera, so um, yeah, I would highly recommend both and I'll leave links down below to my Amazon storefront which has my entire camera set up if you want to go and shop on there um, and it also has the lenses that I use because I could run through all the different lenses but I have quite a few and I don't really know how to describe them to be honest. I could, I'd literally just be saying, yeah, this one's more Zoom, this one's not. <laughs> um, but just literally go and have a look on there. Input the names of the lenses, the cameras into YouTube and just watch reviews because that's what I did. And that is tech. 
Okay, now moving on to probably my favourite thing of all time, and that is pyjamas. <laughs> I have an obscene amount of pyjamas, in particular the ones that are buttoned up like this with the long pants. I have a ridiculous amount of pyjamas, but I love them. They're my favourite thing to buy for myself and to buy for other people, to be honest. I think they're there, they're the most luxurious feeling, just... Just, I just feel expensive when I wear a nice pair of pyjamas. My go-to place to get long pyjamas is actually Primark. They do have so many pairs of nice PJs at a really affordable price. I think you can get a full set for like 16, 15, 15 to 20 pounds, which is actually really cheap for these pyjamas. These ones that I've got on currently were from ASOS. I think they're now out of stock, unfortunately, but for example, I paid 26 pounds for these. Um, and then I have some more expensive pairs from like the White Company. What I'm gonna do is I will put together a list of um, PJs down below, which I love and would want for Christmas, so that you have some links to shop through if you're wanting some PJs this year. I think that is the staple Christmas gift, a pair of pyjamas, to be honest. Second to last thing is clothing. I'll be honest, I don't really wear normal clothes nowadays. I mostly just wear on active, so gym wear. But when I do wear clothes, I love to splurge on a bit of skims. This is just some new bits that I've got recently. These are flared pants. When Honor bring flared pants to me, that will be the day that I am so happy. Just know that when flared pants come out, I'll be really, really happy from Honor Active. But for now, I'll get them from Skims and pay a pretty, pay a pretty penny for them. So these are the outdoor basics pan. And um, these are the brown pair. I've just literally, they've just come in the mail this morning. I've got these because they were on sale for forty pounds. So hopefully they'll still be on sale, and I'll pop them down below. But I wanted a pair of flared pants and matching t-shirt for Christmas Day because I feel like. Comfort is key on Christmas Day. But then I also love several other brands. If you are struggling to pick particular items for your significant other or daughter or whoever, then I think gift cards are an amazing option. Same when it comes to skincare and makeup. If you're not sure what you're shopping for, just grab them a gift card. If I got a gift card, amazing. I can go and buy what I want then. Um, so yeah, if you are struggling with that side of things, I would just say grab them a gift card from the brands that you know they love. And final thing of my Christmas gift guide is shoes. So first things first, I'm going to run through my current favourite shoes. I wear them every day. They're looking a bit scruffy because I do wear them every day. It's my Nike VK2s. Again, I get lots of questions about these. I'm not sure if you can even still get them. You'll definitely be able to get them on like res resale websites, resell reseller websites. And I think you can get them in like a green colorway at the minute. I'll leave an image on the screen, which I absolutely love. So maybe grab them. But I just think they're really, really cute. They're quite retro looking. Yeah. So I absolutely love them. And then probably my other pair of shoes that I would suggest getting, especially a gym girly, is the Nike Met Comforts. I'm pretty sure I'm getting some this Christmas. Um, they're just a nice pair of shoe. I've worn them before. They're extremely comfortable. And there's loads of like really, really cute colorways in those. So they would be my other kind of top pick trainer. I'm trying to think if there's any others. A pair of Converse is always good for a gym girly because, you know, they're a good lifting shoe. So yeah, any of those three, I would highly recommend. And that is my gift guide complete. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know down below if you think I missed anything. Um, and also let me know, like I said, if you shop the Honor Active um, Christmas collection launch this evening. Again, highly, highly, highly appreciate it. And I still can't believe that a lot of you shop through my link every launch anyway. Like I find it so shocking. Um, but yeah, thank you so much in advance. I love you all to pieces. I hope you get everything that's on your wish list this year in terms of Honor Active, but just in terms of your Christmas gift list this year if you did like today's video please 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 like and subscribe down below um and i will see you all tomorrow